Hello my dear friends, uh, family members and uh, children. Uh, we have seen uh, mathematics on a uh, grade 2 CBSE syllabus. Okay, So we have seen a lot of uh, ma mathematic problems on uh, different uh, types of topics uh, like in addition, subtraction and greater than and smaller than. And of course, uh, we have seen um, lots of examples on related to that uh, on that heading. Okay, so on that today we are going to see about the comparison. The first topic is going to be a comparison. So, what does it mean by a comparison? So, comparison means comparing, comparing one thing with an another. Okay, comparing for example, uh, and comparing a moon and sun, what is the compa comparison? What is the difference? The moon will occur on a night time and a sun will occur on a day time. This is what a difference between the moon and sun. When we are comparing a moon and sun, what is the, what is the point there? The moon will be occur on a night and sun will be occur on the day time. Okay. And the what the second point the moon will be a cold and sun will be sun will be the hottest okay so this is what a comparison okay so why i am taking this topic on a mathematics means because comparison means not only by seeing we can we cannot judge everything or not by seeing we have we need a mathematics while comparing few things not few things nearly lots of things we need a mathematics to compare both materials or both things okay so for example when we are comparing so what is the uh, which is a bigger tree or a plant so tree for example i'm just drawing a tree see here this is a tree isn't it so i'm just drawing a plant This is a plant okay so which is a bigger we are we are going to now compare which is a bigger whether tree or a plant which is a bigger tree or a plant a tree is a bigger isn't it so when we are comparing we are comparing a both the trees are bigger and plants are smaller isn't it so how can we come to the judgment whether the trees are a bigger how we are compare how we are getting uh, the coming to the conclusion which this is a bigger because by seeing the size by seeing the size we coming to the conclusion that our trees are a bigger in size okay okay for example we can we can judge this by seeing its eyes itself okay so when it comes like when we are comparing a two plants when comparing a two plants Now you can tell me which is a bigger means we need a measurement we need a measure we need to get a measure how we are going to measure it if by seeing eyes itself we can come to the judgment by the height by the height wise by the height wise we are going to compare the two plants for example just i'm naming the plant a and i'm naming the plant this is a b okay when we comparing a plant and b plant how we are going to compare in in, in a past uh, we compare the trees and the plants so trees looks like a bigger fatty so plants looks like very small so we automatically come to the conclusion that uh, trees is a bigger in size okay so when comparing both is a big so when we are comparing it's nearly a same in size but few few centimeter is high, uh, higher than a b the a plant is few centimeter higher than a b so this is called a measurement we are going to measure the height so this is what a height h e i g h t so we are going to compare the height of the plant a and height of the plant b so height h e i g h t height so we are going to compare the a plant height and a b plant height okay so by seeing itself we can come to the conclusion the a plant is higher highest higher than a b plant okay so if they ask you a specific uh, measurements like what is the height of the plant a and what is the height of the plant b means how will you do that if uh, if they are when comparing a plant a and plant b we can say the plant a is height uh, bigger than a plant b by seeing our eyes itself in case they are specifically ask you the measurement of the plant a height plant a height and a plant b height 
then how you are going to measure it so we need some measurements we need some measurements measurements means that is a calculation that is a calculation to find out the heights not only measurements uh, only to calculate the heights can can calculate the breadth and volume etc 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 we can see it on the future okay so so we need uh, some measurements how we are going to measurements whether we have a centimeter in a uh, short form they will call a cm for example just take your for example not you just take your scale in a scale you can find a cm if you all take the scale means you can find the cm on the corner zero so that is called a centimeter using the scale you can a measure take your scale and keep it from 0 to what is the measurements and write what is the exact measurement of a plant a and a plant b so this is what a comparison and this is what this is how the mathematics involve in a comparison okay so we have seen only how to measure the height or how to compare the two plants using the height which is whether which plant a or bigger than a plant b or a plant a is a bigger than a plant b so we have uh, did the comparison using the height and using a centimeter okay for instance for instance we now comparing a two pencils for example pencil a and a pencil b so here how you are going to compare because we cannot measure it by a height because the height is what this is what a height if you take for example if you are taking a square like this this is what a height and this is what a breadth this is what a breadth okay so we can say it is a length also okay this is a length we can say it as a length by calculating the length of the two pencil we can come to the solution which pencil is lengthier than another one okay so i'm just naming up uh, first pencil as a z and second pencil as a y sorry y and z y and z so now we are going to compare whether the pencil y is lengthier than a pencil z okay so this we can easily come to the conclusion by seeing the height itself uh, the pencil y is lengthier than the pencil z so in like in a past problems what they are asked the perfect measurements they ask the perfect measurements in case here also they ask the perfect measurements means don't worry take your pen scale and just have it and measure it and write it down. what is the measurement of y pencil and measurement of a z pencil we can calculate in a centimeter so this is an we can calculate on a centimeter measures okay okay so next one so, so we have now uh, in before some we have compared the trees as they are the trees and a plants we compare the trees and plants and we compare the two plants which is a higher than which is a high, more height than a plant a or a plant b and of course in our last sum we have seen the length of the whether the pencil y is lengthier than z or z is lengthier than y we have compared the length of the two pencil okay so <laughs> in uh, up to this we have seen only the solid materials or materials we have just see we can touch it feel it the materials in case of water for example in a glass a this is a glass a this is in a water okay this is the glass b this is a water glass a and glass b how we are going to measure the water or a liquid substances whereas in a solid substance like a scale and pencil we can measure it using the centimeter centimeter we can i told you you can use the centimeter so in case of a liquid substance how you are going to measure it means using the liter in a name of a liter 
in the name of a liter you are going to measure the water so we cannot measure the water by using the uh, liter scale we if you are using liter we can calculate whether it's have a 1 liter or a 2 liter or it is in a 5 liter okay so using the liter we can compare the any liquid substances for example the water you can measure it in a liter uh, oil you can measure it on a liter petroleum you can measure it on a liter so any liquid material you can measure it on a liter okay so for example if you take a ice cube if you take an ice cube so ice cube is in a solid material isn't it ice cube is a solid material if can we, if a solid materials can we measure it on a centimeter ice cube no we cannot we cannot measure every uh, solid substances on a centimeter uh, uh, measurements we need a kg we need a kg what is meant by kg means kilogram so i told you that every solid substance we can measure it height and a length using the centimeter measurements okay so for example if i am having a five tomatoes five tomatoes so can i measure using a centimeter can i use uh, can i use a scale or a centimeter uh, uh, or i can i tell the centimeter of a tomato this is an uh, a length of the uh, tomato no of course we cannot uh, uh tell the length and breadth of the tomatoes so but that is also solid no but we cannot tell it so on th those items we can use the kg so kilogram so we have to measure those items on a kilogram basis kg basis for example you are going to the shop any supermarket or anything you are buying a uh, veg, uh, like in a brinjal tomatoes and uh, Uh, potatoes you are buying us uh, some few vegetables and going to the bill counter what they are telling they are measuring on a, a on a measuring scale Is, isn't it they are uh, um, waving on a weight scale they put the vegetable on a weight scale and measure what the kg what is the kg of the vegetables and they put the price according to that vegetable so the kilogram so kilogram will be the measurements for a like now vegetables we can measure it okay and of course a rice bag wheat bag sugar bag we can measure uh, not only a uh, vegetables or a sugar and rice of course a human also come under the category of a kilogram measurements isn't it so we also we, we used to tell put some one rupee coin and if you stand it on a weight machine it will tell you how the weight isn't it so we used to say 50 kg 70 kg 12 kg or if you are very grade 2 means of course you will be in a 15 or 16 kg isn't it children so 15 kg so these also a kg also a uh, one of the measurements okay so what i told you if you take an ice cube you cannot come to the measurements of nana centimeter you come to the measurements on a kg if you put it on a bowl of uh, ice cubes and put on a weight scale it will show the what is the kilogram of an ice cube okay so it will be like an uh, for example i'm just leaving 5 kg of a ice cube okay 5 kg of ice cube when you put it at a settle when you just uh, leave it for a uh, five minutes automatically the ice cube will be get melted then what will be occur the ice cube will be become a water ice cube will be ice cube will be become a water so now how you can measure can you tell me it's a have a five kg of water no we should tell me in on a liter basis okay so see here how the solid substance melt into the water and same that how the measurements from kg to liter so that every solid uh, materials on if you have a length and a height for any made for example if you are taking some board okay so for example you are taking a marker it have a height it have a height if you want to check its a weight also you can put it on a waving scale and you can of course you can tell me the weight also uh, for example it will be not on a kg basis because it is a very light material isn't it it's a very light material okay very light so how can you say in a light minute gram 
gram. So if you want to check the weight of the light material, then you can say on the measuring name as a gram. So it have a time table, table like 1000 gram is equal to 1 kg. Uh, 2000 gram is equal to 2 kg it have some measurements we will see later okay so but the comparison how the mathematics involves in comparing a two things see so when we are comparing a two things how it is uh, by using the mathematics we can compare everything on a perfect measurements we can say a perfect answer using the mathematics so this is how the measurements this is how the measurements plays a very major role in our day to day life. Okay, so this, this is what a very basic introduction of the measurements. What is the use of measuring any products? Whether you are going to find it out the weight of the product, isn't it? Or weight of the product or length of the product or height of the product. This is what the measurements is going to tell us. Okay. Pebbles CBSC Board Syllabus